Hey, let's see how you did. See if you're successful with this one. I hope that you are. First thing, of course, that you're going to do is deal with each set of parentheses. So this one right here, you need to be getting 2 to the 4th, x to the, which is it? To the and y to the 16th. Did you get 2 to the 4th, x to the 8th, y to the 16th? Yeah. Yes. Then, hey, look at this. This is times. So you're going to have a times there. This would be 3 squared, x to the 12th, y to the 18th. Yes, no? Yeah. Now, now look at the board, follow me along for the, for the rest of this. Is it possible to now combine these? Yes. The answer is yes, because why? What are we doing? Multiplying. If you were adding or subtracting, could you do it? No. No, you'd be stuck. You'd be done. You'd be done right here. But since we're multiplying, now we can use the fact that we can reassociate, and recommute those. Then you can multiply your numbers and your powers. We, we better multiply our numbers first. We've got 16 here. We've got 9 over here. Since we're multiplying, not adding, these don't matter if they're like terms or not. You don't care because you're not adding or subtracting. Here, it very much mattered, didn't it? Yes. Notice the difference between like terms and multiplication. It's a big difference. You might want to go back and look at that very, very carefully. Here, we're going to get 9 times 16. That's 144. We're going to get x to the, you're going to add those exponents. You're going to get 20. Y to the That's it. Would you raise your hand feel okay with what we talked about today? Good. 